Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. I've got a quick little video for y'all that may be helpful. Okay, so let's just jump right into it because I'm right in the middle of getting ready to head out to a dark side of class 2 minus, so pretty stoked about that. But I noticed that this strip, Formica, had kind of come undone from this uh, out bearing. Now this is a Hubble Optic UL-16 I've had for, oh, I don't know, four years or more. So this is not like unusual. Okay, this is not a big deal. This is not a diss on this daub. I absolutely love this daub. And I'd buy it again in a heartbeat. So all of that said, so now putting that back on, of course, typically you use contact cement. But I have this uh, indoor carpet tape and this is a double-sided tape. It's very thin and it's relatively inexpensive for a huge roll. It has multiple applications. I've been using it for all kinds of stuff around the house and shop. So this is it here and essentially uh, what I'm going to do is I went ahead and scraped the old stuff off. It wasn't a big deal. I just used a little old putty knife and got that cleaned up and now we're going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to probably buff this up with some sandpaper and from there I'm going to run this tape on here and then double stick it that way. It's nice and thin so it shouldn't uh, provide any bumps or lumps. Alright, let's get to it. So I'm going to use this little block of wood here to give this some support and just kind of score it a little bit. This is I believe uh, 120 grit. You just don't want to bend it or crack it. It looks to me like you're better off going in one direction. Back and forth looks like it wants to bend it. Okay, that's good enough. And we'll wipe the dust off. And like I said, this one, I didn't have to sand this. This just scraped off pretty good. And now we'll get this and it's got fiberglass on it. Um, it's this fiberglass thing so it's two-sided and one side has the protective slicky slide stuff on it. So what I'm going to do, I guess I got to make it level to the bottom. So I'm going to start right here. And what's cool about it, it's tape, you know, and it's nice and thin and it's made for I could say it's made for carpet, indoor, outdoor, so it's pretty substantial. Because you know, if you use the Formica contact cement, uh, that could be kind of messy and what have you. So I'm calling, I think that's good enough right there. I know the thing this goes around the other edge so you want to leave a little bit to grab it when you fold the bearing and just cut it there okay so that looks pretty good so now I'm going to take this blade and just cut it like that putting it right flush on top of here without cutting into the metal Now, I've never done this before, okay, but it, you know, it just logically seemed like it would work. And so I figured, hey, I'd give it a whirl and film it while I'm doing it to share it with you guys because, you know, this is so, now this is still good. And so what we'll do here is we'll just put this right back on the roll and take it around. And that's a great way to get it to cut just right. Okay, and you, you want to leave this attached. The reason is, is that when you, because this is a one-shot deal guys, one-shot deal. This is like contact cement. If you don't get it on there where, exactly where you want it, you're not going to get a second chance. This stuff is wicked. Okay, so now we we'll peel it off. So make sure we get it in there. Just give it another rub down, you know, make sure it's good in contact. 
and then there it is. See, and that's the fiberglass double stick. So from here, we'll go ahead and be careful you don't get it started without you wanting it where, where it is you want it. So now I'm going to, I got my head in the way, but hey, I got to see what I'm doing here. I'm just going to go by the top and guide it in there. And uh, this should work on just about any kind of out bearing if you're using fiberglass. I mean, if you're using Formica as a as a bearing surface. Just take your time. That's it. <laughs> That's it, fellas. Yep. So it's good to have one open end so that you can kind of like, you know, make it like a door and bring it back in and keep one end uh, secure. Now, if the whole thing is getting ready to come off, then you could take some like scotch tape or something and tape at least one end so that you've got your, you know, your track running right. And then once you get this down, you could pop this end and then do that end. Okay, so you want to do maybe like three quarters and then the last quarter. If you take the whole thing off and then you're like doing this, dude, you're probably going to wind up getting yourself in trouble because like I said, this is a one-shot deal. And that, that's it, man. If you found this kind of information useful and you're new to the channel, consider subscribing to my subscribers. I want to give you a big thank you, guys. I uh, hope you're enjoying your summer and clear skies. Thanks for tuning in to Dakota Starry Nights.